Okay, I love graffiti. Um, I've loved it, especially since I moved to the Northwest. As soon as I got out of California, it seemed like the Cali like the graffiti just got smarter and interesting. Like in California, it was just people just tagging their tags. They're just, just put in their markup, which again, I have my own really amazing signature and I want to put it on everything and I make art and I want to stick it on everything too. So I understand the concept of tagging. It just was not beautiful in the way that words are to me um, or understandable in the way that words are to me. So um, when I got to Portland, my very favorite giant tag, the first one that I saw that was like, oh, the Northwest is different, was um, this uh, sign that just said, I love my cats, but it was like in six foot letters on the train you take to the airport, like like on its weird like part of the um of the uh, like the tracks that are hard to get to so that it, it was there for years and I was just like oh graffiti that makes me go oh so I like for the last 10 15 20 years I've been taking pictures of graffiti and posting it sometimes I do it here but jelking jelking kind of wins 2023 for graffiti because I did not expect that I didn't I didn't expect sometimes I I'll take a picture of something and I'll be like what the fuck does that even mean and then I'll look it up like I like not knowing how things like what things mean too sometimes sometimes it's just fun to just be like saw this didn't know what the fuck it was but it cracked me up here you go world but no I'm I looked it up so you don't have to because um it's weird and cool, and then it gets gross, like all things affiliated with penises. Um, jelking is the art of massaging a penis so often and so long that it, the penis gets longer. It's supposedly in, uh, like an age-old tradition, and if you give the penis 110 jelks, then you can jelk it into being a 10-incher, is the theory. Um, that's funny. There apparently are like junk studios and uh and and uh, where the where the walls are covered in spunk. That's not as funny, but also not as unique to joking as I think the people who wrote the Wikipedia Urban Dictionary article thought. Like because I uh, like we've all been somewhere where the wall was covered with spunk. That's that just happens a lot. So um, uh, don't look it up because. A lot of people sort of admit to doing it with children. It gets kind of grody towards the end of the joking question. So, um, yeah, penises are gross sometimes. Like, like you, you start off thinking they're going to be adorable, and then they're not. They're just not. Um, uh, yeah, so I was looking it up last night so I could do a video about it telling you that the graffiti is good here. Um, and then there was just one, one last... One last sentence in the Urban Dictionary was like, ah, that is definitely child abuse. I don't want to hear about it anymore. So jelking is actually a cool thing to do to an adult person. If you're an adult person, um, uh, I, I guess, I guess if, if you, if you want to do that, if you want to massage a penis 110 times, it does not take that many times in order to get the penis to do something crazy. You can usually three ma penis massages and and you're set. The penis erupts, and then um, magically the man just disappears. Is my experience, or maybe magically the woman disappears? I don't know. I don't usually magically disappear. I usually just stay around until uh, the fat lady sings. And since I'm the fat lady and I don't sing that lot that much, ha ha! See how I made a joke about my fatness. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, graffiti definition. If you like this and many of my other videos, please follow me on Patreon! SnarkyWorlds slash Patreon.com